Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Tuesday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Tuesday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. Right, to get started, let me summarize the problem. Given three choices, Q1, Q2, and Q3, with their value. Now we want to find the magnitude of the net electrostatic force existed on Q3. How can we do that? Okay, first of all, review of Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law describes the electrostatic interaction between electrical charges. Here, for example, we have two charges, Q1 and Q2. They interact with each other. The magnitude of the force can be found by using this formula, where K is Coulomb's constant and R is distance between two charges. How about the direction of the force? So it totally depends on the size of charges. They repel if they have the same size. For example, two positive charges or two negative charges, they repel. But they attract if they have different sides. For example, one positive and one negative, they will attract each other. And based on the Newton first law, we will have F1 equal negative F2. Now by drawing the force diagram, F13 is the force that Q1 exists on Q3, and F23 is the force that Q2 exists on Q3. So remember, as we mentioned before, Q1 and Q3 they carry the same side, so they repel. But Q2 and Q3, they carry different sides, so they attract each other. To find the net electrostatic force on Q3, we simply add two vectors, F13 and F23, together. In vector addition, we are able to draw the vector diagram. Here are our F13 and F23. When they add up, we obtain F, and that is what we want to find. This way to find the components of F, I mean FX and FY, is putting a XOY coordinate into the vector diagram. And then, in that coordinate, we can find the component of F13, E, F13 cosine 45, and F13 side 45. Remember, here, with the vector, I mean F13 with the vector side is the vector, and F13 without arrow on the top, it means magnitude. So, Similarly, we can find the component of F23 in minus F23 and 0. Look at here. They don't have, F23 don't have the Y component. So, when we add two vectors, we simply add their component. So, Fx end up with F13 cosine 45 plus minus F23 and Fy equal F13 side 45 plus 0. It means F13 side 45. Okay, we're almost done. Now we have the Fx and Fy, the components of F vector. So, 
we can find the magnitude of f by using the formula right here. And then, the important thing is now, what is f, the magnitude of f13 and magnitude of f23? So, come back to the Coulomb's law that we discussed before. So, using the formula, we can get at f13, the magnitude equal k absolute value of q1, q3 divided by the distance between q1 and q3. Come back here. Now, because q1, q2, q3 located in like at three corners of the square, so the distance between q1 and q3 should be a square root of 2, where a equal 40 centimeter. All right. Similarly, we can get F, the magnitude of F23 equal K, absolute value of Q2, Q3, divided by A squared. So the distance between Q2 and Q3 only A. Okay, it's time for plugging the number. We are given the values for Q1, Q2, Q3, A and K. So remember, the unit of k in newton meter square coulomb power minus minus 2 so you need to convert the unit from microcoulomb to coulomb and then from centimeter to meter just remember that so after that we plug in all number into the formula we get the magnitude of f13 f23 and then find out the component at x and at y, the unit in Newton, of course. And then finally, we can find the magnitude of the net electrostatic force exerted on Q3 equal square root of fx squared plus fy squared equal 60.08 Newton. This is the final result for the magnitude of f. If they're asking you about what are the components of f, so you already get fx and fy here. Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Tuesday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Tuesday, happy studying.